a lot of quantity on this either. Oh my gosh. I hope you are dialing in quickly on the Silver Dagger Mechanical. Once again, for $400. Ninety-four dollars eighty-seven cents. Wow. Brand new for this event, first That's an time amazing ever. Amazing price. On you that. are owning wow. an all mechanical timepiece. Why is that a big deal? Well, same thing as we mentioned before. Try and find a value seventy-seven fifty for four ninety-four. It's not going to happen. This has a chronograph complication. It also, however, has. And I'm trying to decipher because honestly, this is in in it's Cyrillic, and so I'm trying to well, make it's, out it's, it's a, what these subdials are. Right, it's a three dial. It's a three I chrono. This is the three one six eight one movement as well. It gives you a thirty minute summing action for the chronograph. Okay. It also has a twenty four hour subdial that gives you um, the time on the on the military scale. The uh, this is built by Aviator. Um, of Moscow. Again, this is still built in the original first Moscow watch factory facility um, by in a room full of about 30 watchmakers with more than 300 years of Russian watchmaking experience in there. I've been there myself and watched them build these watches. It was an amazing experience. Oh, cool. They. Uh, this is a perennial favorite of the Russian aviation timepiece. It's probably one of the most popular um, Russian uh, chronographs ever built of the Silver Dagger Aviator. Now, Aviator is the official watch of the Swifts, which are the Russian equivalent of the Thunderbirds. And I got a picture here of actually uh, yours truly in one of their planes. Um, they fly the MiG-29 Fulcrum, and I was able to, I had the amazing experience uh, at their uh, Air Force Base just outside of Moscow to be able to climb up into one of their uh, MiG-29 fulcrums. And, and these the guys actually wear the Aviator watches. In fact, if you look over here, you can see that's the Aviator uh, brand, which is actually oh, on right, their right, planes. Right. This is a MiG-29 fulcrum, and I'm one of the few Americans, or certainly a few non-pilots, to ever get the opportunity to be in one of these planes. Um, and they wear this watch, among other aviator watches, uh, when they're flying at these mock speeds, wingtip to wingtip, doing there these amazing um, uh, aerobatic uh, maneuvers. Yep. And so this watch, oh, how again, cool is, that? is as, as uh, authentic as it gets in terms of being a true Russian timepiece. It is, it's actually unusual, too. One of the things the Russians don't do... I mean, Vostok Europe has started doing it more because they're a little more fashion forward and a little more modern. It's unusual to find them with a bracelet. Yes. They tend to be leather strap watches there, and it's unusual to find them with a bracelet. This has a sapphire crystal as well. Um, this is a, a, a limited production watch. It, again, is a 25-jewel Russian mechanical manual wind. I want to make sure everybody understands it. True. Not, this is not an automatic. Not an automatic. This is a manual wind. So you're getting a purity in here yes. as well. And it comes with an extra strap. And, it, well, that's just what I was going to point out because you mentioned the bracelet. And it is going to come on the bracelet. You are also going to get a leather strap if you prefer. Now, you'll need a uh, changing tool, one right. of the, the, the tools that doesn't really have quick simple change. But, bar. yeah, so if you've done that before, you can do that. Uh, but you might prefer it this way. I like it on the bracelet, frankly. I'm going to take some, dement some measurements here. I think here. it's a 42. Well, that's what I want to find out. But as I do this, I want you to see the luminescence on this watch because the luminescence is going to blow you away, frankly, yeah. on this yeah. thing. Watch this timepiece glow. Yeah. Look wow. at that. Look at all the luminescence that you I love how they had the loom even on the little subdials. Yeah. It's um, a 40 millimeter case diameter, and your width is 45. It plays a little bit larger because of the crystal diameter. 30, uh, I can't read that. 36 millimeters is the crystal diameter. Case but it's not massive. 13. Uh, you no, know, no, 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 no. I actually like the fact that, that our guys produce watches from the big to the more manageable sizes. I get guys all the time saying to me, you know, I don't have a wrist that can handle these 48, 50 millimeter watches, but I love your watches. I love the styling and the design. And I like the fact that we bring out, you know, this is 42. Is it small? No. No. But it's, but it's not massive. If, you, if you've got a seven inch wrist and, you, and you're not a guy who likes to wear a huge watch, but you still want an imposing watch that has that aggressive Russian styling that gives you something that's going to get attention on the wrist, this is a great way to do it. And at 
I, I forget what the pricing was on this, but it was like under five hundred. Yeah, four hundred ninety-four dollars uh, eighty-seven cents. That, so. that is ridiculous. It is um, for a full function mechanical chronograph. Really? Those are not affectations on there. That's not just you know to give you the date and something else like those multifunctions. That is a true mechanical chronograph. J four zero nine three three one is your item number. That's going to blow you away when you see that one. Oh, you got, person. That is yeah, absolutely those, they're not going to return those.